This is Yune and her mum Chia. Yune's 11. She likes rabbits, coloring books, and Ariana Grande. Tonight she's on her way to a concert, but she doesn't need a ticket because she's the star. Welcome to one of Japan's Let's go. strangest subcultures, the junior idols and their fans, almost all of whom are middle-aged men. What? I'm on a night out in Tokyo. This is Akihabara. It's amazing to think that this place started out as a place where the baby metal. Yoo hoo! That's 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 put that's fire. People brought their broken radios to be repaired. Now it's turned. Do they still repair broken broken radios there? Someone has to uh, find out. <clears throat> Turn into this, a neon mecca where older idols perform every night. What will I do when I go there? Uh, tea, bubble tea? Uh, tea and food and, and games? Mm, no, it's pictures. Pictures, take pictures of the Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that guy, the, the reporter, also came up like a uh, creep now. What is this? Sync view? <clears throat> I'm not familiar with this. I guess I'm not cultured enough. I recognize the baby metal. There are sexualized images of schoolgirls on everything from adverts to art. Japan criminalized the possession of child pornography in 2014. But there are sexual cartoons of children for sale here that we can't show under UK law. <coughs> it makes me wonder about the motives of the adults who follow child performers. I've been invited to a singing lesson. Yuna is getting ready for a concert. When you are. Yune was talent spotted age six by her current manager. Her mum Chia takes her to these lessons twice a week. Her manager, Mr. Karamata, knows the music industry well. He used to be in a. How uh, how would you get talent spotted at six? Okay. Being a boy band. Okay, I guess I don't know. <laughs> when did you discover you could sing? <laughs> I was so impressed by your voice. I, it was so strong and, uh, you know, you're so little, but you've got this big voice. <laughs> so you've been singing for four years. You've had loads of concerts. Tell me, what are your dreams in pop music? <laughs> the Budokan, where the Beatles and Taylor Swift played, may have to wait. But in a few days' time, Yune will be performing for her fans. Japan has the second biggest music industry on earth. Yune and her team want to be part of it. Their ultimate goal is mainstream stardom, but they've chosen to build her profile as a junior idol first. Yeah, it's actually pretty sick. I didn't know about uh, the Japanese music industry at all. And uh, somehow got exposed to it. It's, it's pretty good. I've been invited to Yune's home for a special event. Although I don't, don't, reveal don't usually uh, listen to popular stuff. Where they live. <clears throat> She's concerned for Yune's security, and she knows that as Yune's popularity increases, so does the possibility of unwanted attention. Oh, come on, she's 11. How popular she can be? Konnichiwa, how are you? Nice to see you. Tonight, Yune's about to broadcast live to hundreds of her fans. Road to Rome? Oh my god, let's go. Many of them. She's part of, uh, she's fan of the Roman Empire. I'm middle-aged men. What? <clears throat> Her mum Chia will be keeping a careful eye on them. Wait, the what? She's like, is that a direct message? The young girls like Yune and the fans are uh, old men like me. Are you comfortable with that? What, how do you feel about that? You can't be a star without fans, whoever they are. She seemed unconvinced about that, uh, about that statement. They are. So every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. sharp, Yune goes online. <laughs> like hundreds of other wannabe idols, she broadcasts live through a web chat service called Showroom. Through the app, idols are able to interact with fans and even accept gifts of money. <laughs> this is also a chance for Yune to plug her upcoming concert. One of her most loyal fans is a 38-year-old man called Koji. He tells her she's very beautiful. Okay. Done. How many people watched it? Were you happy with the numbers you got? <clears throat> what the fuck? Bullshit! I used to stream to people, and 100 would be like, that's a good number. Damn. Hmm. She's my nemesis now. Although I don't stream anymore. Also, seems like she is, uh, like, this is like a single parent situation, but we might not uh, want to jump to conclusions here. <clears throat> 
ゼロよりは全然いいと思うのですごい自分の中ではありがたいなっていうのと満足してます。<笑> Being known or being popular, having a lot of fans, isn't always a great thing because you can't control who follows you. So, it's a very good thing. It's just that it's an unpredictable aspect of celebrity, I suppose, is what I'm thinking about. So, the balance of 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 the You know, the weirdos. On the other side, you got you have the money. So you, you gotta really balance this out. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. Congratulations on a great show. See you again soon. Bye bye now. I was really struck by how protective Yune's mum is of Yune and how carefully she was screening all the messages that came through while Yune was broadcasting. At the same time, I couldn't help wondering about the men who send those messages and what motivates them to do it, what they get out of their relationship with Yune. That's a good question. <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna get a straight answer from them. Although, I mean, you you can argue that uh, mm, you might or well, you might argue that they like kids, they like in the inappropriate way. That is their motivation, <laughs> and that might be. The day of Yune's big concert has arrived. But what I would ask is that why why Yune then? Like there are gonna be like a lot lot of these uh, child stars. So I'm on my way to see Yune perform on stage for the very first time. And to be honest, I really don't know how I'm going to feel about it. I know the audience is going to be predominantly middle-aged male fans. <laughs> You'll put right in, mate. Yune's manager has got her a slot on an all-day show organized by another promoter. There are 12 junior idol acts and upwards of 200 fans. Almost all are men. It's frustrating to show you everything we'd love. What? Is is cake? Right, because it's a private event. We can only film those fans who are willing to be filmed, and that's not many of them. Yuna's about to perform as her fans go in. It's showtime. Yuna takes the stage. Hey. So it's not terrible. The hall is packed with fans intent on capturing Yune in close-up. Mum Chia is here too. Okay, she's not bad, but like, I'm not really sure that this uh, warrants the... this amount of attention. Afterwards, <laughs> the men queue to meet their idol and buy trinkets. Uh, let's go. Hey. On top of the 30 pounds they paid to attend, CDs and signed Polaroids cost seven quid a pop. Hi. Huh? Oh yeah, look, let's make some money. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? The... What? This is just start. How? Why? Why would you stop? Oh, Jesus Christ, man! Is this is this guy for real? <clears throat> Or maybe, like, is this some kind of a uh, inside thingy that we don't understand? Or this guy just a mega creep? They also pay to have their pictures taken with Yune. Okay. What is it that you love about Yune? Okay. That wasn't that weird, but like, this was a weird request. <clears throat> what? Crazy high. What? Oh yes, maybe that the husky is crazy high. And you be oh yes, maybe that the husky is crazy high. And you because of course I see, you know, the first assumption maybe it's maybe it's my problem. I see an old no 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 don't do that. Man looking at eleven year old state. I assume that man is having a, entertaining a sexual fantasy about the child. Then no. We know that, but uh, it's a little bit difficult to justify. But yeah. but what's the perception of the what 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 what? <laughs> to justify, but yeah. What is this gonna leave it unfinished? Of the scene. I love these conversations. In Japan, more broadly, this kind of culture is a little bit growing and booming in Japan, but still, most of the Japanese think it's not a good culture. Uh, Many Japanese think this is something to do with, with pornography. And... Yeah, 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 yes. But what is it really to do with? What, how would you say to those people? Ah, uh, yes. It's a difficult question, but uh, we enjoy our performance in a gentleman's way. So, no pressure, no harassment, but we support. Her play and let's say how they are growing up. 
Okay. I mean, he was weird, but like, didn't do anything too weird. Although his uh, interviewing skills are <clears throat> not top notch. <clears throat> This is Koji, a 38-year-old fan who chatted with Yune on the live stream. He's followed Yune to shows in the Philippines and Taiwan. What? Taiwan. He pays. Flew with her in, in, in different countries to see the show. That's got to be some ultimate fan. Who would do that? pays extra for these photo sessions. He's too busy to chat, but says he'll meet up with me another time. I have to say, being here, I find it really weird. There's something strange about seeing these middle-aged men who are basically starstruck by these 11-year-old girls. Yeah. She's not that good of a singer. She, she's okay, I guess. I mean, I guess she might be... She might get better over time, so... <clears throat> As the concert winds down, I, I mean, this is just a good example that... You can't be... Can't be picking your audience. <laughs> I, walk with Yune's manager, Mr. I mean, there are like uh, YouTubers who are like, oh yeah, you know, you know, I just play my music, you know, just a innocent girl, seemingly, just play, playing her music. And I'm like, okay, we don't care about that. We just want to see you naked. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to be playing music as a pretext, but like, gonna start dropping clothes hardcore. It's like, oh yeah, good stuff. <laughs> But if you ask the audience, like, we're only for the music, boys. <clears throat> Train station. He has a number of different acts on his books, but Yune is the only junior idol. Whenever you would see a scene, does he... It's a rarity? Okay. I just assume that there are loads of them. <clears throat> Let's see Yune, very short shorts, yeah. dancing on stage, and then a load of 50-year-old men with big cameras <laughs> going... <laughs> and the viewers will just think, well, we know what's going on here. These men are getting off on seeing this child dancing. So Yune is a sexual character. If you look at the sexual character, you can't see the fans in the face. You can't see the fans uh. Uh. I just sit there wishing she had fans who were her own age. But mm -hmm. oh, they don't care, right? I mean, if <laughs> he's not loving this interview, <clears throat> I mean, this show would just go broke if not for these guys. Her entire career hinges on those guys. It made me uncomfortable with the idea that these guys were looking at Yune in a looking on her as a lover. They were looking on her in a way that was somehow sexual. <laughs> Mr. Karimata is aware of the way some of the fans come across, but he accepts them as a necessary part of building Yune's career. Bye bye. Bye bye. How many people got a creep on you? Might as well get paid, right? What motivates the middle-aged men who follow the junior idols? So I'm on my way to meet Koji again, Yune's loyal fan. He's single and lives two hours outside Tokyo. Huh? Okay, I think we're here. After you. Oh, oh thank you. What? We've arranged to talk in a cafe. Let's take a seat. Where he shows me some of his favorite pictures. Yune channel. Um. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wonder if he has a family. Right, it could be, but what I'm thinking is that if it's not a that we, that the uh, that the guy is uh, supposing here, then it could be because that these guys are just lowly as fuck, and they are kind of like manifesting into the strange way. <clears throat> <clears throat> So, I mean, you can imagine that we live in a society where we live under inhuman circumstances. We, we don't have shelter, maybe we don't start families, we, we don't do anything, and like, you know, everything is just gonna be totally fine. But what if that is not the reality? <clears throat> um, when people see middle-aged men cheering for 12-year-old girls in the UK, they assume it's something sleazy. Is it the same in Japan? No, it's totally fine. そんな感じで見られるとは思います。
なんか危険に思っちゃいますよね。なんだろうまあ、もちろん中にそういう人じゃない、まあ、そういう感情があるってもそういう人じゃない人もいると思うんですけど、まあ、大体話を聞いてると、まあ、ちょっと危ない人ばっかだなと。Koji seems as troubled as I am by the motive. Okay, I mean, you, you can speculate about the <clears throat> motivation of this guy, but at least he is、uh, pretty straightforward about uh, that uh, not of all, well, not of,、uh, all Yuta's fans are, are the best. The motivation of some of the fans. Maybe the guy with, who brought the handcuffs. <clears throat> but he also thinks that some men follow junior idols because they're lonely. Like Koji, a growing number of Japanese people are single. 12 million adults under yeah, just be like a normal person and have a parasocial relationship with like me, and then then you can stay home and not be a weirdo. <laughs> under 40 in Japan, who are not in any kind of relationship. I'm on my way to meet Professor Masahiro Yamada, who studied this lonely generation. I'm hoping he might be able to explain why so many men are interested in young girls. I mean, it's not so many. I mean, how many attended? Like dozens in a, in a city that's like. Tens of millions. <clears throat> And her entire fan base is like 100 people. This is the bright light. So it's important to look at the stats. We're going to what's called a maid cafe. What do we say when we go in? They're places where men pay to be waited on by young women.、Mm. Dressed as French maids. What's going on in here? This is a good place to go. What's on sale? It's probably overpriced. Here isn't sex, but company. What? <laughs> That's a good draw his face. That's hilarious. <laughs> the professor says it's one of a number of industries that have evolved to satisfy the emotional needs of lonely men. I wish I could that. The professor calls this virtual love. He estimates that 25% of Japanese people under 40 will never get married. Does this help us understand? How much? Will never get married. He estimates that 25% of Japanese people under 40 will never get married. I think it's gotta be way more. Way, 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 way more. But, like, yeah. At least that, that much. And then. It's really up to others to take advantage of this because they, they still remain human. So, what are you gonna do? Like, maybe like read books and, you know, like imagine, fantasize it, or, you know, spend their time online. I mean, there are people who are just, just super happy just being alone and、uh, they don't really have high social needs. But those who do and、uh, it's kind of not fulfilled, they're probably gonna find other ways to、uh, satisfy it. <clears throat> Does this help us understand why there are young female idols who are being followed by an army of middle aged male fans? It became a business. That was a pretty good drawing of、uh, my face. <laughs> The professor believes some lonely single men are following junior idols like 11 year old Yune to give themselves surrogate daughters. I mean, that could be it. I mean, I mean, that could be possibly part of the motivation. Although, I mean, it, it is a little bit suspicious that everyone is kind of suggesting that, I mean, probably the most plausible explanation is the is not it. And it really wouldn't be that surprising that, you know, you know, massive city. I mean, some, some guys are like that. <clears throat> It's Sunday morning. I'm going to see Yune perform one last time. She's making a guest appearance at a rather unusual <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> but but the, the, the funny part is that the girl probably doesn't know、uh, much about this guy. So he actually becoming the, the number one creep here. <laughs> Just follows this、uh, girl, interviews her, follows her to all the shows. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe only out by the guy who with the handcuffs. Fans of another idol named Aimee, who's turning 12. Yune is dressed as a maid for the performance. Okay. <laughs> What? Wait, what? Let's check this out. Okay, I mean, it's a bit of a mixed <clears throat> audience. We got a guy here, a guy. 
and uh, we, we don't know, that looks like a guy. So two women, another guy. It seems more like a... This is kind of what you might see as like a... Kind of a school... A school stage or something. Who knows? What? Uh, does this guy have anything else to do? <laughs> he says the experience of following junior idols has changed his life. あと、なんか、ゴミ戦じゃなくて。Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it, it is possible that that guy is uh, has other problems, but not not the ones that uh, the reporter is thinking about. Give it just a uh, shot in. Yeah, he didn't talk to anyone. <clears throat> Some of these men may come here for companionship and Yune singing, but I'm left with the uncomfortable feeling that for others it's not that innocent. It's sexual. If I'm right, the junior idol industry what? is playing with fire. <laughs> Gratifying desires that would be criminal. <laughs> Jenny Love with that mask. That sounds fine. Criminal, if acted upon. As Yune treads her difficult path towards stardom, I just hope that those around her will continue to keep her safe. <laughs> Yeah, in the West, well, in the West, we are far more cultured and civilized. We have TikTok with uh, all the children there and child beauty pageants. So we're totally fine. Uh, nothing sketchy 